Good morning everyone. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to model a uh, slide window. And I'm gonna show you that uh, the detail that's required to create uh, such type of architecture elements. And uh, actually I'm gonna start uh, based on uh, the previous uh, window that we created in video number four, the double side hinge window. I'm just gonna open that file that already contained the preset for everything we have done. So we don't need to start everything from the beginning. I'm just gonna go file and save as this family. I already created uh, a new uh, folder here, the double-sided, uh, uh, double-sided, uh, sorry, the double slide window family, and whatever this name, I'll just call it. Uh, just give it a new name. I already created that. Okay, I made a mistake in the names. Just I'm missing the O here, guys. Anyway, so what I what I need to do is to get rid uh, of one of those panel. They are not uh, ending exactly at the end of each other. They're not moving uh, as the hinge actually moves. So we need to make this guy actually, I'm gonna just move it away. And gonna warn me that uh, the constraint will be removed. So just gonna remove them. And we need to start from this point as the end of the frame. And it's just this guy, this end end to the frame of the window. This will allow this dude or this dude to move right or left. Uh, without having something you know to stand in the way so what we really need to do is to redefine that guy and make it taller by the amount of the uh, the width that we have in here which is technically is the the parameter we have here I think it's 50 or 30 mil I'm not really quite sure what I've done in the previous videos but I'm guessing it's the operable frame width in here let me just double check uh, if this 30 control this specific amount, I'm going to make it 20. Beautiful. So that's what I want. So operable frame width. So I'm going to get it back as it was creating a new reference plane, whatever that goes to the left. And then I'm going to add a dimension and a line dimension to it. Selecting this guy and actually I'm going to assign the operable frame width to it as you can see here. So when we change that, this guy will change too. So the first step is just to align that guy here and lock that alignment. So this dude will start wherever this thickness change. So if I change this guy to 20 mil, this guy should actually start from this point and that's what we really need. That's a successful start. Now we have to do the same thing, but this time with this thickness. So again, I'm going to create a reference plane here, wherever it goes. And I'm going to add a dimension here, exactly like that. Now we need to know what is the parameter control the thickness of the operable, uh, operable frame. So it's operable frame width, operable frame thickness. It's, it's 50, it's already too thick. I'm going to make it 30, so that's our guy here. So this dude have to be a new parameter that it's technically half the operable thickness. All right, and we need to set this as a formula. So half operable thickness should be 0 0.5 multiplied by the operable uh, thickness, right? Yeah. We have to be careful with the spelling, capital letter and small letter, otherwise it's going to be mess, like this one. Let me see what uh, what I've done. Oh, yeah, I think I misspell. I need an L here. Right, isn't it? Yeah. Hit enter now, it's accepting it, and it's giving me 15 if I hit OK. Now I get this. Why I have the half? Because I want just this face. And remember, you're not allowed to uh, uh, align object to the face of other object. You're going to make it lots of mess. You always need a reference plane to be safe. Now let me flex before I align if I'm working properly. So uh, that's the operable thickness making it 40. This guy have to move with it. Now that's beauty, isn't it? Now align this dude here to this guy. And you know, don't forget to lock the padlock here. Now this dude definitely need to be a different a uh, nested family from this one because this one is taller by the frame, operable frame thickness. So the first step is to select this guy, edit the type, 
and duplicating it, making it, uh, let's say, long operable. It's just a new uh, nested family or new family member. And sadly, when you do that, all those guys will be eliminated and you are no longer able to use whatever preset, unless, of course, you have to assign them again. That's okay. So what we need is a new parameter. So what we have here is something called operable uh, width, which is this guy, 470. So I'm going to create a new, and I'm going to call it long operable uh, width. Too much really long name, but that's okay. What is this guy is basically the operable width plus the frame, the operable uh, where is it? It's just here, operable frame width. Beautiful. So if you hit OK, and then you say OK here, and now you have to select that guy, go to the edit. Now that operable width have to be the new parameter that you just defined, long operable width. Now let's see if it's work, and you see it's, it's work perfectly. Now whatever you've done, again, you have to reassign you know the you know the operable thickness should you get it you get it back operable thickness uh, the operable frame thickness operable frame whatever operable where is it uh, operable thickness yep the operable height again that's the operable height yeah, we've done that a couple of thousand times and the glass thickness operable glass uh, thickness I don't know where is it glass thickness here so that's it. As you can see now, it's uh, made a mistake. I don't know what is it. Okay, the operable frame, right? Yeah, it's 50. Operable frame, that's wrong. Anyway, let's go back again. Uh, the thickness. Yeah, yeah, operable frame thickness. So this guy should be operable. I don't know. What? What is the mistake? Uh, that's the thickness. That's the thickness. Wait, wait, wait not the height not the width the thickness and we have the frame thickness okay yeah, that's right operable thickness okay now i'm lost operable frame thickness let's see what is it let's, let's just copy paste from this guy we have operable thickness operable thickness and the operable frame Operable frame width. Okay. So this third guy, operable frame something. Yeah, this dude here. My bad, too much names. So now you see it's it's work as flex the overall thing. Maybe let's go operable uh, operable frame width, maybe 30. And I'm gonna apply that, and you see that both of them moving uh, smoothly, operable, whatever. Operable thickness, maybe 30 instead of 40. And you see they are working perfectly. That's technically what you know we need to have to do. Now you have to go back to the exterior, of course. Don't trust that because it's gonna jump ups and downs, you know. So you have to. I'm just too lazy to do that. So you know what to do. It's just you know to change the cell height and this guy gonna jump and then you have to assign it again. And the same thing with the top of that. And then you change the height of the of the thing and you're gonna you know you need to fix that. Just have a look of what you need. I just don't want to make this video to be really long without a good reason just do whatever you need to flex the cell window cell and the height of that and to see this panel jumping up and down but eventually what really we need if i just go hide is this that's the uh <clears throat> this frame goes that way maybe we need to make it uh, shaded as you can see that frame goes uh, you know to cover up this frame of the operable and indeed you need to get this to be you know either reversed I'm just going to remove them. Okay, either reverse them like that, or you just get rid of them and, you know, just draw an arrow uh, as a notation that show in the elevation. And some some uh, architects also prefer prefer to put a uh, two-headed arrow or one-head arrow to say that this guy is the moving one. Anyway, guys, uh, I wish that you find this uh, video useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.